Hi everyone, Pat Doherty here with your Tennis IQ topic for the day. We're looking at first serve technique on the return. So <clears throat> let's start with the reaction time. You're very limited on your reaction time when you're facing 100 plus mile an hour serves. So <clears throat> considering the court length 78 feet from baseline to baseline, that gives you about a third to a half a second to get your racket on that ball. So you need to be very condensed in your preparation. You can't look to take big windups, especially on the first serve return. You gotta be using the imp incoming power to your advantage and block a lot of these back. The, the objective is to get yourself into the point with an opportunity to hopefully dictate play. Let's look at some of the things that can improve your technique here. First of all, start with the forehand grip in your ready position. If you're waiting on that serve, you wanna be in your forehand grip so you can have immediate separation of the hands the moment you see which side it's coming to. We'll talk about the backhand in a little bit, but make sure you're not using a continental or a backhand grip to start or you're gonna, it's gonna eat up too much time. Try to create a, a hit point where you give yourself a forward move to that hit point so you have some momentum going into contact. Try to time your split step so it lands just after the contact point on the serve. So everything's got to be synchronized to the contact point. So for example, with Rafa, he'll be using a lot of rapid footwork like this as the toss arm's going up. The moment that arm starts up to contact for the server, he's going to elevate off the ground so he's at peak elevation the moment that ball's coming off the racket. So he's getting a read on which side it's coming to right at that moment. He can adjust his footwork and hit the ground running literally uh, or moving in the direction of where he needs to go next. So it's, it's a way to speed up the reaction time by going through this routine every time, but it's heavily synchronized to the server's technique. Very simple moves for the preparation, just a body turn towards contact. And again, a lot of times we won't see the butt end set to drive in this situation. They're using that incoming power and just blocking it back. It's more important that you make contact at the right time than it is to try to wind up and send the return back bigger than the serve you received. So basically notice also here with Djokovic where his feet are loaded into the toes big time. He's got those heels both elevated throughout this whole process. So he's keeping that forward lean of momentum towards the net so that serve doesn't push him back when he goes to try to make a play on it. Good thing to incorporate into your return routine. So basically the limit of the take back would be to just show your palm to the contact point and that's as far as you need to really go. Um, both sides, backhand and forehand. One of the unusual things about the Rafa return for a two-hander, it's quite unusual to see that top hand so high up the, the throat of the racket. Usually they're on top of uh, the grip with both hands, the way Djokovic and Murray do it, and it makes for a really a, a lot quicker return. So this might explain a little bit why Rafa tends to play a little deeper into the court, because it takes him a little more time to get his grip change to happen, especially for the backhand side, but he even has to do it a little bit on his forehand here, and then he has to slide the hand down the grip. So again, we want to kind of try the different variations of, of, of returns. You can use a volley type skill and chip it back. You can use a block, you can use a drive. The drive is going to be more of what you're doing on the second serve return than it will be on the first. So again, it's mainly the goal here is to just neutralize the impact of the serve coming in, try to get out of that situation and into the point where you have an opportunity to possibly dictate the point from there on out. Now, notice how tightly he's wound in this thing. It's just a very tight turn. Even if he has more time, he's not gonna go further than here. So he's just aligning his chest to contact and using the incoming power. So notice right here, Federer never shows the butt end to, to the contact point. So it's purely a defensive play on the ball right here. One of the last things we wanna talk about is the backhand adjustment that you need to do. And this is something you definitely can do off court if you're limited on your court time right now. Practice setting that racket with the left hand. So what we want to use is the, the bottom hand grip for your forehand, 
but as you prepare the racket with the top hand for your two hand backhand return, that's when that grip's got to slip into position where you normally have it on your backhand side. So practice being very quick with that. Use the left hand to point at the contact point, let the bottom hand slide into position. So these are a few things that you could work on to improve your technique on first serve return. I'm gonna share another piece with you too with Andre Agassi, who is one of the all-time great returners. Uh, so you can hear a little bit about how he approached it mentally and technically. Good luck working on it.